hello friends and welcome back to learn one in the last session we learned about the basics of magento along with general information and its system requirements in today's session we are going to learn how to install magento on a local system and to verify the installation now i am going to show you how to install magento in a local system to install Magento in a local system, you will need an active WAMP or XAMPP installation. In my case, I am going to use the WAMP server. To download Magento, you can visit Magento's official download page. All the Magento versions can be found in release archives. In the release archive section, just search for the Magento version which you want to download. Throughout this tutorial, we are going to use Magento version 1933. Select the format which you want to download and just press the download button. You will be prompted to enter your login details. Creating an account on Magento is very very easy and you can do it in a few seconds. If you don't have an account, just create your account and click on the download link. After the download gets completed, copy the Magento zip file and paste it in your WAMP www directory. Create a new folder called Magento in your WAMPS directory and paste the zip file. Now you can extract the complete zip file in here. Make sure you have your, all your files and folders in the root directory. If not, just cut all your files and bring them into the root directory. After doing this step, just go to your browser and open your local host. Type the name of Magento's directory. You will be greeted with a welcome screen. Now from here, installing Magento is very simple. Just click on I agree and continue. On this page, you can select your default locale options, time zone, and your default currency. On this page, enter your database configurations. If you don't have a database already installed, go to your PHP MyAdmin. Create a new blank database. I am going to name it Mage. So if you click on Mage, you can see that there are no tables in this database and the database is completely empty. Now go back to your Magento installation page and type in the database name. Enter your MySQL username. Of course, the default username for MySQL is root. If you don't have a password, just keep the password field empty. In the base URL, you need to type your IP address as Magento won't accept localhost as an input parameter. The default IP address of your localhost is You can also change your admin path. You can name it whatever you want. I am renaming the part Mage Admin. Keep all the other options as they are and just click on continue. After your database has been created, you will be asked to create an admin account. At the same time, if you go back to your PHP My Admin and click on your Mage table, you can find that the database which was previously empty has more than hundreds of tables. Magento's installation you can enter your 
first name, last name and email address in here. Enter your username and password which you want to create for your admin dashboard. Keep the encryption key empty and click on continue. If you are seeing your screen, then your Magento has been successfully installed. Now you can visit your front end as well as your back end. This is the default Magento installation. This is the front page which comes along with Magento. And you can see that the name which I entered in the admin panel comes over here. For example, if I want to visit my admin panel, I should type here, enter the username and password which you created. This is the Magento dashboard. Now we have successfully installed Magento in our local system. But this Magento installation is without the sample data. It doesn't have any products or shipping methods or any customers. Means the database is completely empty. Now we will learn how to install Magento with a sample data. Installing Magento with sample data is basically same as installing Magento without sample data only there are a few of steps getting added with an exception of few steps being added to install sample data go to the magento's download page from where you got your magento's installation search for sample data 1.x you can download any of the two sample data just select your format and click on download Now sample data is a huge file, it will take some time. After the sample data gets downloaded, extract the sample data in the same folder. In the sample data you will find two folders, media, skin and a database. Now what you need to do is before starting a new installation, you need to import your database into phpMyAdmin. If we are using a WAMP server, you can follow my steps to upload the database. Go to your WAMP. Click on MySQL. Just hover on MySQL and click on MySQL console. You will be prompted to enter a password. If you are not having any password, just press enter. Now again, go to your phpMyAdmin and create a new blank database. I am going to name it Mage Sample. Now go to your command window and type use your database name. In my case it is Mage Sample. And you will get an output database change. Now to import the database you need to type source. Now go back to your folder where you have extracted the sample data. Now go back to your CMD window and type the path of your SQL database. In my case it is And if you do everything right, the database import will begin. The database import will take some time. After the database import has completed, you can go to the phpMyAdmin again. And you can same empty database which you created now has a lot of tables. Now you can repeat the same steps which we followed to install Magento without sample data. With this zip file you downloaded, 
create a new folder called magento sample and extract all the files in it. Now visit the URL of your new magento installation directory. Now just follow the same steps again. Now in the database connection page, I need you to enter a database which we use to import the sample data. And all the other steps are the same. Now here I am not changing the admin path, I am keeping it as it is. Remember to change the name of localhost to its IP address. Now enter your personal information again. Now try visiting the Magento frontend. Initially you will see a completely messed up page. That's because you don't have any of the images present. If you remember, I told you that Magento sample data comes in with three packages, two folders and one database. This is where the other two folders come into play. Now go to the folder where you have kept your sample data. Copy the two folders, media and skin. And paste them into the Magento's root directory. You can override all the present folders. After this is done, just refresh your Magento page. And now you have a ready Magento installation with sample data along with multiple products. You have a successful installation in your local system now. After this, you can visit your admin dashboard. Log in to your Magento dashboard, which has sample data in it. Now, in your Magento dashboard, you will see some dummy amount and dummy customers already added. The Magento dashboard has a lot of options as you can see. So, I don't want you to get freaked out by the time this tutorial gets completed you will have a complete idea of what each of the options do and where to find them. The first step to do after every Magento installation is go to system and open cache management and index management. Magento relies heavily on caching to improve performance on front end. So if you are using Magento in a developer environment it is necessary that all your caching should be disabled. You can just select all and click disable. The second step to do is to re-index all the data. These are the two important steps which you must repeat every time you have a new Magento installation. In the next tutorial, we are going to learn about the Magento dashboard and I am going to walk you through a number of options in the Magento's dashboard. Till then, I want to have a dive in the Magento's dashboard and look for yourself 
what options you can find. In the next session, we are going to learn about the admin panel of Magento.